This is video one of cleaning up the goat's yard. The purpose is to create paddocks in order to help control parasite, parasites such as the barber pole worm that are a huge problem for our goats. Um, I currently have established four paddocks in what was our nursery yard, which is 330 feet long. Some sections was 35 feet wide and some were 45 feet wide. I managed to get them down to 35 feet wide all the way down, which gives us 3,500 square feet, feet per paddock. The paddocks that I'm going to do now are in the goat yard. And we have a lot of trees that we let stay down on the ground because the baby goats like to play on them. But now we need to clean them up so that I can create three additional paddocks to help control the parasites in the goats. These paddocks will be 86 feet wide. The total length of the whole yard is 137 feet. I can get one paddock that is an 86 by 43, which would be 3,698 square feet. Two other paddocks could be 86 by 47, which would be 4,042 square feet. Those two I can play with because I have trees and some stumps that are in the ground that are really hard to cut down. I'm having struggling to get them cut down. And I may have to move the fence line here or there. But this is what this video is. Uh, my son and I started May 1st on the cleaning up of the paddock.
I'm not going to record all the wood I'm going to put in here, but I wanted to show you where it's going. I got, I created this, uh, this big long bed in my enclosed garden. Um, so I have this to fill and I have this one to add some more to. It, I grew sweet potatoes in here last year and they just vined up all over the place. It's beautiful. And then I have this bed to fill. Just have things laying on it right now. Um, I created this enclosed garden because I got tired of the crows eating my fruit, my uh, produce, as it was growing on the vines and on the plants. So they can't get in here. This is from an old chicken coop yard and house. And I just covered it and added more space to it. This spring, I bought the mulch and it's over landscape fabric. Um, the goats know it's here, so they look through the fence and vague. I have still a lot of work to do, some greens growing. I like this a lot. I enjoy, I mean, I've got a lot of work to do, but I enjoy not having to fight the birds and um, the insects I still have to, but I can, I can work with that. I have three blue containers, 50 gallon, for collecting rainwater. And right now I have some near my house, our main house, that I collect rainwater and I will bring it over here as I need to when we don't have rain. Um, frogs have been known to lay their eggs in this water and over by the house. They eat the mosquitoes that come in it and I let them, I let them grow there and do their thing but this is what I got going on over here I have moved my garden several times I had it in my berry garden which is over there I've had it in my orchard and the soil is so hard to work with and I get tired of the weeds so this year I'm moving it again I set this up a couple years ago and I've been working on it Gradually, I still have the front beds to finish filling. Um, but this year, I moved my beds from the berry garden and the orchard over here. And as you can see, I've got some vinyl flooring down from the main house kitchen because we're, re we're redoing things in that house. I've got some landscape fabric that I bought. I made some grow bags for potatoes. I'm trying that out this year. And this is where I'm going to grow here, close to an electrical source and close to the water source right there. So, I may have to fence it in to keep the goats out if I let the goats out here to eat grass and weeds this summer. I don't know yet. Right now they can come out. There's nothing here for them to eat on except for maybe whatever's coming up in those front beds. But... This is where I'm putting the wood. I'm going to go ahead and finish up the job in the goat yard because I need to get all of that. Uh, let me show you. I need to get all of this tree material out of the Doe's goat yard. My son, my youngest son, Steve, came over yesterday and helped me. He did that pile and I had a bigger chainsaw and I started cutting down the trunks um, and the logs. I'm hoping I might be able to move this long log here and one over here to where the goats hang out in front of our houses so the babies that are coming um, can play on them. I saw a picture of idea with the stumps and these long logs being attached to them so that the animals can play and I like that idea. We'll see if I can get them out of here. But this is what I got to clean up. That's what I was starting today. We cut tree limbs or tree trunks yesterday. Um, Monday. This is Tuesday. So, there you go. I'm going to go ahead and get, get to work. And when I show you this again, it'll be cleaned up.